Hello and a warm welcome to a special package of Kogi in Focus. It is special because it is the highlight of a one-week celebration of Governor Yahya Bello's victory at the Supreme Court in Abuja, upholding the re-election of Yahya Bello as the governor in the November 16 election. The judgment which was passed on 31st of August 2020 attracted people from all walks of life who converged on the city of Abuja, Lokuja and Okene to celebrate Governor Yahya Bello's victory. I am Khadijat Mohammed. I'll be right back after this break. Don't change the dial. Welcome back. The Supreme Court ruling was described to be a welcome development to strengthen the democracy. Lawyers who were counselors to ABC and other parties reacted. Uh, I've learned a new jurisprudence today that you can abandon your pleading in your brief of argument, not at the trial court, even when evidence is laid. The judgment is first and foremost very, very sound. There was a lot of industry, uh, a lot of scholarship, and a lot of erudition that went into the delivery of the judgment. But bottom line, the judgment is the confirmation of the will of the good people of Kogi State, which they expressed on the 16th of November 2019. In the immortal words of uh, William Shakespeare, all is well that ends well. This has been a protected legal battle from uh, December now. We have concurrent decisions of uh, the trial tribunal and uh, the court of appeal being affirmed by the Supreme Court today in Wada's appeal. What the court in dismissing the appeal said is that the law improving whether you want an election by majority of lawful votes has not changed. It still remains the law. You must bring cogent and credible evidence and the uh, election petitions are not fought on sentiment but by clear and cogent evidence. You could see that the Supreme Court today, in deciding the case, said they needed to bring people who were at those polling units to give life to the documents they brought. Most of the documents brought were not spoken to by the makers of those documents. And even the expert evidence, the court held that there was no pleading to support that particular evidence of PW19 because they have abandoned those two grounds of the petition which border on corrupt practices and non-compliance. So you cannot use facts pleaded in support of non-compliance and corrupt practices to establish majority of lawful votes. The court has restated, this was stated in the, the Kano election petition, the national election petition, Caprice case, and now it has been affirmed by the Supreme Court that you cannot do that. So all in all, the court held that this was a case where the evidence brought before the trial, 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 trial tribunal could not support the petition and the court accordingly dismissed it. And as the people on the winning side jubilate simultaneously in Abuja, Lokuja, the people react. I'm very really grateful to God. We don't have power, we don't have anything, we depend on God. And God has done it for us. And we pray that His Excellency God should give him the power, the capacity, so that he can pilot more than what he has done before. The people of Gogi State on November 16th last year gave their mandate overwhelmingly to Alagia Belu as governor of Kogi State. And that the arrivals of the governor took the matter to tribunal to Supreme Court and today is a joyful moment. We glorify God for this. It's our earnest prayer that God Almighty will give the session in the way without to deliver the most needed service to the good people of Kogi State. The judgment was well delivered with the merit of it. It's an affirmation of the confidence of the people of Kogi State. That means the mandate has been confirmed and justified. I want to congratulate you guys, you know, both within and away. It's a confirmation of the mandate by the people of all the people local government in Kogi State. And you have seen that everybody is happy because it is what uh, happy for. It is I mean, the work we have done. The uh, developmental stride of Yaya Adoda Bilo, the new direction government has done tremendously well to the people of Kogi State. The deputy governor said it is the Lord's doing and that Governor Yahya Bello is ready to accept all aggrieved oppositions. Man must learn to consciously acknowledge God in everything. 
So my word for a start is to say glory be to God Almighty. Because when you ask me who did it, I will tell you affirmatively that God did it. All citizens of Kogi State, well-meaning progressive citizens of Kogi State, across all divides, based on political platform, should come together. Support the government of His Excellency Alaji Ayadoza Belo, who is today the governor of Kogi State and the leader of the state, so that he can fulfill all the promises that he had given to the people of Kogi State, which is to do much more than he did in the first four years. People celebrate in the church and in the mosque to sing and dance to God Almighty for the great thing he has done. The Director General of Government House Administration, Shuaibu Oricha, who organized a Thanksgiving celebration in Government House, said Kogi is in a safe hand. Enemies of progress are out to, to set Kogi aback, which the Almighty God today has actually done his will by reaffirming his victory at the pole. To want to appreciate God, as I've said earlier, I want to appreciate God. I want to appreciate His Excellency. I want to appreciate His Excellency for the opportunity given me to serve Him. Various entertainment groups also performed. <laughs> Functionaries and party faithful express their position on the judgment. Then the administration of justice, the rule of law in Nigeria, have been given a further confirmation that that is the ultimate space for every mortal on in this part of the world. So we give glory to God. We thank the judiciary for remaining firm on the rule of law. Of law. And then uh, we congratulate His Excellency, who we know that he believes that this victory is for the entire people of Kogi State. This victory is for entire humanity. 
and it is a further challenge to him to continue to do his best by ensuring that all kinds of discriminations and signs of other development in the state are put to rest. And first of all, to thank God and also to thank the Gubi for to give them for their support and belief in Governor Yabelo for giving him this uh, victory at the pool, which was um, affirmed today by the Supreme Court. We thank God and we thank God. And now, they should, they should be patient to witness more dividend of democracy as we capture, as we capture in sign revised budget. Thank Almighty Allah for seeing us through. It's not easy. It has been a very tedious uh, journey. But we're happy today that the victory was given to His Excellency Elijah Adosa Bendo. Women, this is our time. This is our time. This is the time to walk. All this while, we've just been managing ourselves. But this is the right time to walk. I believe His Excellency, our Governor, Elijah Yaya Adosa Bendo, to see that all women are being carried along. Women, please support me and let's do it together. I feel very excited. I'm elated. Uh, it's what we prayed for and uh, finally God has answered us. We want to give all glory to God Almighty uh, for this very great victory. Uh, we also thank the good people of Kogi State. We thank the judiciary for standing firm on the point of law. And we want to assure the good people of Kogi State that His Excellency, the Governor of the State, we continue to do more for the people of this state. Still on the celebration, watch this package. That is the beauty of democracy. Moving forward, I call on my brothers and sisters, those who contested with me, the victory is all ours because we are citizens of Kogi State. It was a Saturday morning. Where we should continue to troop in to celebrate with the executive governor of Kogi State over the Supreme Court verdict. Even Muscrits were not left out. <laughs> of the State House of Assembly, Matthew Kalawali, and host of others also reacted. It's a very wonderful day because this marks our victory at the Supreme Court that all of us are jubilating and celebrating with His Excellency, the People's Governor. And we are very happy for what we are seeing today. And I'm happy that his people, which is the Bira people, Bira Nation, they are strongly behind their son, our father, our, God, our political godfather, and we hope this will continue. I think it's the excitement of the whole program that when the masquerade comes out, it flogs and everybody believes when the masquerade is holding a stick and it touches you, it's to them, yeah, to those who the masquerade were beating, it's like a blessing to them that they are having more power plus power. So it's just culture, that's law. The cultural witness of today's occasion, one, one should be able to identify where he has come from. Two, what are the do's and don'ts of where you come from? 
Three, what are the things left behind by the ancestors to your own time? That's exactly what we are displaying today. That masquerade is part of our culture. Masquerade, entertainment, is part of Ibra culture. And we feel it is so important, very nice, like the son of the soil, our own son, His Excellency Elijah Ayadoda Bilo, who has been very, very lucky to sail through the court. The judgment is in his favor, in the favor of Ibra people, and also in the favor of Kogi State. So the only first thing we have to welcome him with is with the traditional festival, the traditional uh, entertainment, which is, we call it eco-culture. can see that he did that perfectly by making sure every tribe in Kogi state is represented in his government. I'm very happy that our brother is a, is a governor today. Our daddy, our brother, our humble, our authentic man, a child of a Bira land. I'm very happy for him. Even I can't express myself how I'm happy. If you are just joining us, this is Kogi in Focus the weekly program that brings such lights to happenings within Kogi State. For your information, contribution and event coverage, please call the numbers or reach us via any of our social media handle displayed on your screen. Some persons who spoke to journalists on the street of Lokoja described the Supreme Court judgments as a leverage to allow the governor to do the needful. At this stage, 
I want to uh, call on all the litigants, those who went to court for and against, to come to back together and ensure that the people of Kogi State benefit from the dividends, the dividends of democracy that uh, they need to uh, get from this government. Uh, I want to also say that uh, uh, the victory for governor should be seen as a victory for everybody. Working to improve on the masses, especially the civil servants. And now, now he has, he has opened the case. We want to focus on the masses and the civil servants. We want to regular people to salary. And we pray God will guide him to finish the many things. As far as I do this, we will go ahead to do it. This is where we wrap it up on today's package. Until next week, keep doing to others what you want them to do to you. I am Khadijat Mohammed saying goodbye.